الحمد للہ وسلات وسلام رسول الکریم اما آباد آؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس اینڈ مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگ آف اللہ بی اپون یو ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک از بائی واٹ نیم ڈو وی کال گوڈ دا مسلمس پریفر کالنگ اللہ انسٹیڈ آف دا انگلش ورڈ گوڈ دا عربک ورڈ اللہ از پیور اینڈ یونیک ان لائک دا انگلش ورڈ گوڈ وچ کین بی پلیڈ اراؤنڈ ود اف یو ایڈ ایس ٹو دا ورڈ گوڈ اٹ بیکمس گوڈس دیٹ از دا پلور آف گوڈ اللہ از ون اینڈ سنگولر دیر از نو پلور آف اللہ اف یو ایڈ ڈیش ٹو دا ورڈ گوڈ اٹ بیکمس گوڈس دیٹ از اے فیمیل گوڈ دیر از نتھنگ لائک میل اللہ اور فیمیل اللہ اللہ ہیز نو جینڈر اف یو پری فکس ٹین بفور دا ورڈ گوڈ اٹ بیکمس ٹین گوڈ آئی فیک گوڈ اللہ از اے یونیک ورڈ which does not conjure up any mental picture, nor can it be played around with. Therefore, the Muslims prefer saying Allah, but sometimes, while speaking to the non-Muslims, we may have to use the inappreciate word God for Allah. Since the intended audience of this book is general in nature, consisting of both Muslims as well as non-Muslims. I have used the word God instead of Allah in several places in book concept of God in major religion by Dr. Zaki Naik. God does not become a human being. Some people argue that God can do everything. Then why cannot he take human form? If God wishes He can become a human being, but then he no longer remains God because the qualities of God and human beings in many respects are completely incompatible. The following paragraphs will show the absurdity of the idea of God becoming a human being. God is immortal and human beings are mortal. You cannot have a God man, i.e. an immortal and mortal being at the same time and in the same entity. It is meaningless. God does not have a beginning while human beings have a beginning. You cannot have a person not having a beginning and at the same time having a beginning. Human beings have an end. You cannot have a being which has no end and at the same time an end. It is meaningless. God Almighty does not require eating, whereas human beings requires nourishment to sustain life. And He, it is that feeds but is not fed. Al-Quran 6.14 God does not require rest or sleep. Why? Human beings cannot go indefinitely without rest. But He, the living, the self-subsisting, eternal, no slumber, can size Him, nor sleep. His are all things in the heavens and on earth. Al-Quran 2.255 Worship of another human is useless. If the idea of God becoming a human is unacceptable, we must also agree that there is therefore no sense in worshipping another human. If God takes a human form, He is to be God and possesses all the qualities of a human. For example, if a brilliant professor meet with an accident and suffer irreparable loss of memory. It would be foolish on the part of his 
students to continue take lessons from him in their subject. Moreover, if God takes human form, the same human cannot later become God, since human beings, by definition, do not possess the power to become God. The worship of God in a human form is therefore a logical fallacy and should be abolished in all its forms. That is the reason why the Holy Quran speaks against all forms of Atropromises, the glorious Quran says in the following verse There is nothing whatever like unto him. Al Quran 42.11 God does not perform ungodly acts. The attributes of Almighty God preclude any evil sins. God is the fountain head of justice, mercy, and truth. God can never be thought of as doing an ungodly act. Hence, we cannot imagine God telling a lie, being unjust, making a mistake, forgetting things, and other such human feelings. Similarly, God can do justice if he wants, but he will never do it become being unjust is an ungodly act. The Holy Quran says, Allah is never unjust in the least degree. Al-Quran 4.40 God can be unjust if he wants, but the moment God does injustice, he ceases to be God. God does not forget nor does he make mistakes. God will not forget anything because forgetting is an ungodly act which reeks of human limitation and falling similarly god will not make a mistake because making mistakes is an ungodly act my lord never errs nor forgets al quran 20.52 god performs only godly acts he has power over all things the islamic concept of god is that God has power over all things. The Holy Quran says in several places, For verily, Allah has power over all things. Al-Quran 2.106, and 35.1. Further, the glorious Quran says, Allah is the door of all he intends. Al-Quran 85.16 We must keep in mind that Allah intends only godly acts and not ungodly acts. Many religions at same points believe directly or indirectly in the philosophy of anthropomorphism i.e. God taking a human form. Their contention is that Almighty God is so pure and holy that he is unaware of the hardship, shortcoming and feeling of human beings. In order to set the rules for human beings, he came down to earth in the form of human. This deceptive logic has fooled million through the ages. Let us now analyze this argument and see if it stands the test of reason. The Creator prepares the instruction manual. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has endowed us humans with reasons and intelligence. We invent and manufacture appliances for specific purposes. Tape recorders, for instance, are manufactured in large numbers. It has never been suggested that in order to understand what is good for the tape recorder, that the manufacturer should become a tape recorder himself. One simply assume that the manufacturer will publish an instruction manual, since 
he has complete knowledge of his product in short the instruction manual gives the dos and don'ts for the machine if you think of the human being as a machine it is indeed a complex creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our lord and creator allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need not come in the form of a human being to know what is good or bad for the human being he only has a reveal the instruction manual to mankind the holy quran is the instruction manual for human beings moreover allah will call his creation to account on the day of judgment it therefore stand to reason that the creator informs us about the dos and don'ts of life allah chooses messengers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs not come down personally for writing the instruction manual over the ages allah has chosen man in every nation to deliver the divine message such a chosen man are called messengers and prophets of allah some people are blind and deaf despite the absurdity of the philosophy of anthropomorphism followers of many religions believe in and breach it to others is it not an insult to human intelligence and to the creator who gave us this intelligence such people are truly deaf and blind despite the faculty of hearing and sight given to them by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the holy quran says deaf dumb and blind they will not return to the path al quran 2.18 the bible gives a similar message in the gospel of matthew seeing they see not and hearing they hear not neither do they understand matthew 13.13 a similar message is also given in the hindu scripture in the rigveda there may be someone who sees the words and yet indeed do not see them maybe another one who hears these words but indeed does not hear them rigveda 10.71.4 all these scriptures are telling its readers that though the thing are made so clear still they turn away from the truth subhanallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh